right, what it do is fucking Monday, November 6th. A little bit cloudy. Hopefully the fucking water fucking falls working. I don't think it's fucking frozen anymore. should just fucking ride the bike up to the fucking spot up there, but I just put on a fucking pod and that motherfucker hurt, so I have the physical malleability, is that right, the word? Malleable, because this shit hurts, man. Let's see, the water's going, so that's good. Fuck yeah. That's what you call a motherfucking pond, motherfucker. Um, yeah, looks good. Sounds good. Is good. Although that rock looks to be... No, no, it's still covered with water. Because if it wasn't, then that would mean the fucking thing's leaking. I do not believe that it is. So. All right. Put you on right there. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I still haven't ordered any more of the netting, but I guess I'll get on it eventually. I'll get the shit when it's fucking too fucking cold. <laughs> no, I do have to do it though, because I need to protect the fucking liner from the sun, even if it's not super powerful during the winter. I fucking buy myself as much time as I can. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the ice cube. It's not an ice cube. It's a piece of glass. Damn. I can't wait to put fish in that motherfucker next year. Ah, damn, the fucking pot hurt. I was hoping it wasn't gonna, but boy did it. And I put it further, like, back, towards my back. Which is technically where you're supposed to put the fucking thing. Wow, dude, that shit hurt. I hope this one will calm the fuck down before I, I gotta eat. I, mean, I gotta eat right now, but I'm not gonna. I just put the fucking thing on. And if it hurts bad enough as it is. I only have one fucking cone right now, so I'm gonna have to pack some more. Yeah, the fucking wind done moved everything over to this side of the fucking pond. Maybe fucking rake my pond. <laughs>
I'm gonna go longer stick. This spark this motherfucker. Oh fuck. It could go better, but it's hard to see. Hit it up, motherfucker. Uh, I have some music to cut up. Not a whole shitload. But it was it should be pretty good because it was on the eight string. And that fucking guitar sounds fucking amazing. And I was able to play music's on it, so hopefully it'll sound dope. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> fuck. I gotta change the fucking pod in the middle of fucking football on Thursday. <coughs> God damn it, I wish I didn't have this fucking disease. Uh, I wish it could have been normal. God damn it. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't fucking pack all that shit up, because this, <laughs> I don't think that this is going to be this when it's like January or February, but while it is this, then I'm just going to let it be this. Dug me a motherfucking pond. For just me to enjoy, because, you know, nobody fucking cares. You know, why would they? Everybody else has, like, a life. I don't. Because I don't have any fucking way to do anything. a little earlier than I would have liked to because of the fucking pod was dead but I just woke up to the beep of death it'll just do that for like 
two days. Look, he just left it like that. The little watch batteries inside the motherfucker will die eventually. That happens when the fucking shit, the shit doesn't, like, unpair correctly or whatever. So, it just stay like that. I just put those pods in the fridge. You can't hear when the door's shut. So. Feels like something's biting me. It's not like a flea. Something with teeth. Ah, oh, she hurts. Alright. Focus on something else, dickhead. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll get my fucking hoodie today. One of them. I got two. I got one that's just the Grateful Dead with the dancing bears on it. But the color itself of the tie-dye is kind of more pastel, I guess. Or dulled. But, so I got another one that's not a Grateful Dead hoodie, but it's, I don't know, some, some company in California, I guess. But it looks brighter, and yeah, the design looks cooler. So. Either way, I'm gonna get my patch put on one of them. <laughs> I took the Bath and May fucking patch, it's purple, and fucking I sewed the green heart into it. So yeah, it looks sick as fuck. And then I'll sew that big patch onto whichever hoodie I think will feel the best. Hopefully the one that feels the best also looks the best, but knowing the way my life usually tends to go, that means one of them is going to be fucking perfect for one thing, and the other one will be perfect for the other. So. Story of my life. So. That's funny, like maybe I should sing, but I don't, so. I just don't, because I don't fucking, I don't like the sound of my own voice. And I probably can't sing. But you don't really count as a musician, I guess, if you don't sing. Oh, you can play the guitar? You have a big fucking whoopee. Lots of motherfuckers can play the guitar. Yeah, but you don't understand. Like, I'm not a guitar player. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I hear helicopters. Helicopters. Let me show you Yes, it is. <clears throat> Ghetto birds. <laughs> when you're from fucking California. I wish I didn't have to say that I was from California, but if I, if I spent most of my life there, so then that means I guess that's where you're from. I guess where you're from is where you fucking grew up. Like what? city or town did you go to school in almost specifically elementary middle and high school that's where you grew up where you learned all the things you fucking learn when you're a fucking teenager been a little bit more activity lately with the fucking helicopters. <laughs> oh, that doesn't mean anything, because we'd like to waste fucking fuel, so. Damn, I wish something that dope would happen while I'm alive. I really know this. I know, really, that's more than likely not going to be the case. That kind of sucks. Sort of like you're waiting for a show to start, and it just never will. But, got to fucking... Enjoy the fucking little pieces of gold that you get while you're alive. Historically wise. Feels like the country's kind of on the edge, but it always has been feeling like that for the past eight years. <laughs> like, 
I'm starting to realize that the whole presidential shit is like a fucking, I don't know, like they make it out to be a bigger thing than it actually is, I guess. I, like, oh, if this one side wins, and oh, the sky's falling. And you can see why they would think that, and so you think that, and then nothing happens. Like, how many times does that have to happen before you finally realize they're fucking with you? Yeah, I don't know. I think I've realized it. But, but then again, what am I fucking saying? When was the last time, like, a whole fucking shitload of people tried to break into a fucking government building because they weren't happy about the fucking outcome of an election? Oh, that's right. It's only happened once. So, like I said, the historical thing, like, that happened. And I'm glad I was alive to see it. I'm also going to be glad to be alive when they finally throw that orange con man in the motherfucking prison cell. And, I guess, be glad that I'm alive, even though it's going to be shit. It's going to fucking suck ass, but... The possibility that our fucking POTUS could actually fucking run from jail... That's fucking ridiculous, and that pretty much sums up America pretty good, I think. Oh, you're from that country where your president's in jail right now. How the fuck does that work? Like, yeah, you're telling me. I think we need to rewrite the Constitution. Those motherfuckers will start bitching and crying, but that's what should be done. So, you know, reflect the fucking times we live in now. There needs to be more regulation on the Second Amendment. I said regulation, not fucking complete fucking wiping away of. Just regulation. I guess in fucking Colorado, we're trying to use the 14th Amendment to keep that piece of shit off the fucking ballot. So, see how that goes. fuck I was talking about. Politics, I guess. Yeah, I feel a little bit like I fucking failed. Because I didn't go to the fucking board nearly as much as I think I should have. But I know why. It's because that fucking bike is too fucking... The tires are too thin. It's a mountain bike, yeah, but the fucking road. The road to the gorge, well, the 71, is, uh, I mean, it's fine in terms of a dirt road for a mountain bike, but there's parts of it where you, just, you could very easily eat shit. And I know it's specifically because the tires are so thin. So my point is that I want to build a fucking fat tire version of the same shit, but I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, because I'd really like to keep going with, like, the older mountain bike. The ones that are, like, 21 speed. Seven gears. Fucking three sprockets. 21, but, uh, they don't, they didn't make, you know, fat tire bikes <coughs> back then, so I'm probably just gonna have to fucking settle for a fat, any fat tire that I can find, even if it's fucking red, ugh, or some god-awful color, anything other than white, I really don't want white, fuck white. So, I gotta find that, and then, I already know what battery to get, controller, I know how to basically do it all, so, yeah, and I gotta get the motor, too, cause they sell, you know, they sell fucking four inch, like, fat tire fucking motors, so, I could have a fat tire e-bike, that's what I need to build, for going all the way to the fucking gorge. The street part of it makes me nervous as fuck, but... 
I guess it's just maybe undue anxiety, anxiety, but maybe it's not undue. I think it's completely due because I can't fucking see real well and motherfuckers drive up behind you fucking quick. So if I do, if I go and it's not dark or darkish or dark enough for your headlights, then I don't know. Just rolling the dice, I'm not getting hit. So I don't like that. Oh, yeah, you know, these are fucking worries and problems that just go away instantly when you just get into a car. You can't fucking do that, so. I'm a little bit afraid that, like, enough time's gonna go by where I'm actually gonna reach a point where I'm just gonna get fucking... Unable to not think about what I had. Like, the abilities that I had, the freedoms that I had, and just start missing the fuck out of it, and then miss it until I'm dead, so I'm afraid of that, because <laughs> I do miss it, I do miss being able to just get in my car and go do whatever I gotta go do, go to the post office, go to the store, go to the fucking repair shop, whatever. The whole world is open to you, but when that door gets slammed shut, boy, goddamn, it gets dark. You can kind of see some of the light coming from underneath the door, but you just can't go through that door anymore. So. I don't know. I have to take solace in just my fucking golemness, my schmiegel, my level. Pathetic fucking loserness. No, not a fucking loser because I went blind or was blinded. That's not fucking anything that happened because I didn't. Oh, yeah, it did happen because I didn't. I didn't go to the emergency room for a headache. That costs me pretty much everything. I'd be okay with that, okay, that's fine, alright, life, you know, shit happens, but only if I didn't have this fucking disease to deal with, this shit hurts, man, anyway, I saw a birdie, or something that looked like a bird, The fucking sun during the fall time is fucking weak sauce, but you know, that's just to fucking illustrate how much colder and devoid of light, I guess, it is during the winter time. The fucking sunrise today, though, oh shit, I had to stay up a little bit anyway because. Um, wanted to see it, shit, it starts around 6.18 now, so that means it'll be like 6.20 tomorrow, or six, around the same 6.18, so if there's paint in the sky, like there was today, and on fucking Sunday, I'll, I'll snap shots of that shit too. It's crazy because I got such a dope ass picture with a fucking with a phone. It's this fucking Galaxy. <laughs> Galaxy S10 is fucking old as fuck. But I got fucking an amazing picture with it. All these assholes out there with their what thousand dollar cameras. Oh, I've got the Nikon fill in the blank fucking super shot. Like <laughs> I got this bunk ass phone from like 2009 or 10. No, I don't know when the fuck they started making the 10s. S10? 10s. I don't like saying S10 because it reminds me of the truck. But I think it is a S10 in terms of the model.
yeah, at some point during this week, I think I'll take a walk. I mean, I'd ride, but I put everything away, kind of. We took the battery and put it inside and put the bike in the camper, but like up and like out of the way. Not that I can't just get it, I'm lazy, so. And I don't think the battery's charged. But, yeah, so I'll probably just walk. Um, I don't know, one of these days. The only reason why I don't do it right now is because it just put on a pond. Walking just pisses it off. So. Yeah, it sucks, I'm hungry. And when it's time to eat, I don't know how I'm going to take insulin. Because this fucking shit hurts, man. It hurts, so if you use it to take insulin, it just makes it even more pissed off. Damn, 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 what a fucking dilemma that only I understand. Anyway. So, yeah. Some point during this week, before Thursday, because I gotta put on another one on Thursday. Maybe Wednesday. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. It's not supposed to be cold or cloudy or anything. So. Fuck yeah, I can't wait to see my motherfucking hoodie. I don't know which one's coming today. I think it'll be the Grateful Dead one. like mixing the fucking belief of oneself with the Grateful Dead. I mean, I can't be the only person to ever have done that, but if it has been done before, I haven't fucking seen it, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. You know, all those satanic fucking Grateful Dead heads. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's because people watch too many fucking movies. They think that if you fucking have, like, the sigil of fucking Lucifer or whatever, that you fucking, you bowing and shit, and with the robe, and sacrificing babies, and fucking drinking blood, and all this kind of crazy shit. What the fuck are you talking about? No. Belief in Satan is basically just a fucking belief in oneself. The knowledge that fucking there is no fucking flying spaghetti monster. No reason why I use the fucking sigil is because it fucking, it, it affects the target demographic the most. Like, those motherfuckers can't see that and just fucking keep moving. They have to say something. Jesus loves you. God loves you. Not today, Jesus. Yeah, I figured out that's the comeback for that. I mean, it's not an official thing or anything, but I saw it, and I was like, hey, wait a minute, that's what she should say when they say their film shit to you. Jesus loves you. Or even just, God loves you. Like, not today, Jesus. Because it implies that they think that they're fucking the second coming. And, you know. Anyway. I'm fucking hungry, man. I was hungry when I went to sleep, so I'm hungry when I wake up. And I'm not hungry for maybe, what, like, 23 and a half minutes after I eat something. Whether it's a sandwich or a sandwich. Because <laughs> it's all I fucking eat. Aren't you tired? Yes, I am. I really fucking am. I do miss that part of being free. Being able to just get in your car and go get whatever the fuck you want. Right now, I feel like I'm having some Del Taco. Like, all right. Or Rudy's, some fucking real Mexican food. I don't know. I miss it. Miss food.
Fuck yeah. I can't wait to see what I was able to put down with that eight string. Like whenever I play and I think to myself, like, holy shit, that was cool. Then that usually means there's going to be something. Because I don't think that unless I do something that I don't either normally do or, or yeah, don't normally, normally do and figure out how to do on command. Or something that I won't be able to do again because I don't know how I did it to begin with, but it sounded really cool. Yeah, so shit like that. Like a style of playing, a sound I'm able to create. I don't know. But chances of that happening with the eight string are bigger because, you know, there's eight fucking strings. But it's hard to play that bitch because the lower you get in tone, the fucking thicker the strings get. I think the last string is about as thick as probably like the highest string on the fucking bass. So, trying to hold that motherfucker down with your index finger and then hold down like the fourth string with your pinky, which line is kind of jacked up. It's fucking hard. But if you can do it, you can make some fucking music. Pretty shit. Weird how it goes from being like silent to fucking gets all freezy. Wait for the winds to calm down. You know, maybe I should put a little sailboat in the pond. <laughs> yeah, right. It'll just end up all pushed up against one side of the other. Dead calm this morning. I gotta pack calms. Fuck. Do I gotta do that shit for I don't know. I'm gonna run out, but I think I'm gonna start to grow again in the fucking. I don't know. February maybe. January or February, I'm not sure. I have to. I'm gonna run out. But I need to get some other beans, whatever. I suppose that will give me something to do during the winter. big fat if, because it it's all cold as fuck, like it was last year, and I don't know, I might just wait until March, or April, but I don't know if I have enough, can I buy left, I'll have to get one, maybe, it'll be a fucking relief to finally get something that's not fucking like all this shit, it's weird because it's really old, but it's really, really well grown, so it's still fucking it gets you faded the fuck out. It's fucking wedding crasher. I don't know if it's wedding crashers or crasher. I think it's crasher. This shit's purple, yo. Ugh, I love purple cannabis. Love it. thinking about the fucking what I've done to my fucking face <laughs> no it's like when homie finished the space it's like one half of me is like I guess I should have just told him this, that's it I'm done or whatever but the other half of me is like fuck that like I wanted the one up I didn't want to cover it up like I had the one up mushroom I had the 
Invincibility Star, and then the THC molecule on my face, basically on my left side. And I was like, fuck. Uh, I'll cover it with space, because it's just dope as fuck. But but I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of it, so where the fuck can I put the fucking one up, and then I was going to put it underneath my right eye, but, but the fucking thing has to be like a certain size in order for him to be able to do it, so I didn't want it that big on my fucking cheek, so I ended up just putting it above my right eye. And it's like, why? Is it because I fucking... That's my generation. That that right there is my generation. 89, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Like, those are my years. So, the best way to illustrate that time period for me is with the one-up mushrooms. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, you can't wear the story of why you have it, you know, with it, so people are just gonna judge right off the bat, motherfucker, you don't even know, you can run your fucking fingers or hand across my fucking forehead if you'd like, so you can feel the way a, a fucked up skull feels like, like what it feels like when they have to cut a huge chunk of your skull out, so that they can remove a huge brain tumor, and then they put that panel back in, and they gotta use screws and fucking whatever, and it just, it heals, it heals all. Here, you fucking feel it. It's like, instead of fucking looking up and seeing this gross-ass fucking, what used to be a normal forehead, I look at the fucking one-up and it makes me smile. So I guess in a way, I'm just a fucking... A book that people judge the cover of. Yeah, you don't know the fucking story, fucker. I survived that shit. And then the aforementioned, I don't ever go anywhere, I'm a golem, I'm all by myself. So. All of those things just combined equate to me just being like, fuck yeah. Will I regret it when I'm fucking 60? Maybe. If I even get to 60. So that's kind of the other point. I guess for the situations where a motherfucker has to... I have to have a motherfucker take me seriously. I can just wear a hat. It's high up enough on my forehead where if I wear a hat, you can't really see it. So. Maybe I'll start wearing a bandana. Yeah, fucking right. Or a beanie. Any of them shits will work. So. For what? The three and a half times that I'm not fucking at home? <laughs> Uh, it was a trip because of the way the motherfuckers acted in Utah. That shit was a trip. I mean, tripped out by that. I wouldn't even be surprised if they acted that way even out now after I'm all healed up and I don't have the fucking plastic on my head anymore. People be tripping. Yeah, I ain't even fucking done shit. I may even turn that fucking one up into an eyeball. I could do anything I fucking want, goddammit. Shit. It hurts like crazy though. No, I don't know. That shit really fucking hurt, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The skin on your face, yo, know, is like specific. There's something up with it. You need something up with it. It fucking hurts because it's your fucking face. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But the forehead seems to hurt pretty bad. There's no meat right there. It's just your forehead and the fucking skin. It heals different. It takes longer to heal too. 
but it, it's fucking painful. That's all I know. And the spot, like right near the corner of your eye. Ooh, shit. Shit'll make your fucking eye tear. Like you'll just squeeze out a couple of tears. It's weird. See what it looks like when there's two pumps and they're both going full power. But I need to get solar panels. I mean, the one I got is dope because I just got it and it, 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 it shipped it. I didn't have to fucking try to barter with somebody. Hey, can you just drop them off? It's like an hour and a half away from everybody. Pay a nominal fee just so they'll come out here. Fuck. Or you just get free shipping, but pay the same amount. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. That'll probably end up doing. That's probably what I'll end up doing. <laughs> Pretty sure they're showing up on the camera. I hope so. I mean, if I actually had an actual person here, I probably wouldn't be talking about the shit I you normally talk about. <coughs> oh yeah. That fucking thing on my finger. Maybe you can see it now. It's like right fucking over here somewhere. That shit hurt, man. Last week it was really painful. Now at least I can see where it is. But it's still there. <laughs> I guess my body's slowly dealing with it. Whatever it is. That little baby is so cute. I'm so lucky I have my left eye. Whatever's left of it. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to see shit. Like, if I close my left eye, I can't see anything through my right. But, blindness doesn't physically hurt. I would keep the fucking not being able to see. Oh, there's a little greedy at the top. Hey, yo, yay. It's so cute. <laughs> fucking. <clears throat> yeah, I'd get rid of the disease because it's hard. It's physically painful. The blindness sucks. There's no doubt about it, but. It doesn't physically hurt. My eyes don't hurt. They know that shit. So. Right away, it's already a better situation than having to fucking take insulin just to fucking stay alive. They little babies. They're so cute. No, it's not lost on me how lucky I am. I get to sit here and be this. Instead of that fucking rat race that most people are fucking tied to. I used to be tied to it, too. And so I remember how fucked up that was. So I know how glad I am that I don't have to do that shit. I mean, there's always the trade-off. I also don't get to go do whatever the fuck I want. If I'm 
hungry. I can't go get what I feel like I want to eat. If I need something, I can't just go and get it. Or go see anybody. Or yeah, None of it. Sacrifice. But, in the, run, in the long run, I'd say it's well, it's not equal. <laughs> they both suck about the same. I guess since life on Earth. Well, no gravy. But, so lucky as shit. Any fucking time you get to be alive is fucking a gift. It's not a gift because it has to come from somebody. It's something you should definitely fucking take advantage of to whatever degree you can if I was if I was wealthy and could see and I would travel the world and see places but I can't do that so it boiled down to just having to build my own electric bike so I could drive myself the 40 minutes to a place that's really 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 fucking cool wish I could do it in a car, but then again, no, maybe not, because you have to pay to park, and if you ride a bike, you don't have to do any of that, so, but going on, like, a weekday like this would make me nervous as shit, and people drive around doing what they do, getting hay, or whatever the fuck come across my stupid ass on a bike. I don't I just don't want to get hit by a fucking car. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and the aforementioned fat tire versus skinny tire, all that. So maybe next year. <laughs> maybe next year. I don't know, I'll be older next year. Oh yeah, and I was thinking, like, well, if there's no heaven and there's no hell, then what the fuck with the people that deserve a hell? Like, that motherfucker deserves something bad to happen to them because of what they did. And the best I could come up with is fucking, they just, their energy doesn't get re reused. Like, you don't get to have life. I think the whole thing is just being alive. Life itself is like a treasure that motherfuckers should just fucking treasure. <laughs> Put value on because even if it hurts, it's still a pretty fucking cool gig, man. All the shit you get to fucking witness and be a part of. Or don't wit or don't be a part of but witness. <laughs> and so I was just cause I was thinking that maybe my job here is to just observe. I'm not meant to actually do anything, so just observe. But and it's like if you observe and report, but to report to what? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I could give a pretty good fucking description of how life works on Earth. So. I guess a lot of people could probably do that. So. But yeah, anyway, the point you fucking walk around fucking people over. And all that shit. I think the more you do that, the longer you deprive yourself of being able to experience life again. But, I don't know. Or maybe when you finally do, finally are granted the ability to fucking live again, you have to fucking be one of those poor people in Africa with no food. And you're just gonna have to live that life. As short as it may be, but still. Maybe you have to do that a certain amount of times before you can finally get a fucking, just a roll of the dice instead of a determined. Yeah, but see, none of that makes any fucking sense. Like, there's no flying spaghetti monsters. So. I don't know. It's just the fucking, the, uh, 
nature of the energy, I guess. The, the infinity. Which lane you're in when, when that circle comes back. I don't, know. I don't know, man. I'm just fucking thinking out loud. I know we're energy. I know that. And we know that you can't create or destroy it. So. If you exude negative energy in terms of making other people suffer and sadness and fucking anguish and just all these feelings that are the opposite of happiness and laughter and jovial grateful you know all these things that's, that's the opposite of that that have to exist too so it has it has its place but what does that mean for the vessel or person it's fucking responsible for that I feel it's some type of a diminishing of or a sacrifice of or the relinquishing of like life. And I'm not sure what you know. Like, is that what is that in terms of longevity or quality of or just itself? Period. Like not even having the opportunity. To feel the sun on your skin, to hear the birds chirping, to dream, to eat. Yeah, all the things that are great about being alive. You're deprived of that because you deprived the, you know, others of that. I don't know. It's just fucking thoughts. Why try to figure it out? I don't know. I guess really there's no point. I think it's too much for any one person to really understand fully anyway. So, I guess it's just kind of shit that happens when you're curious. I wish I could have a conversation with Neil deGrasse Tyson. That would be dope. I got questions for the fucker. Like, I thought some shit up, like, a couple of days ago, like, what about, like, when, when they got done building Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride at Disneyland in Anaheim, California, when they got done building the ride, the day of, whatever it was, 1960, whatever, fucking, it's too bad they didn't, like, measure, like, how... Just take base measurements of like the, the pathway, the walkway, <clears throat> and then measure it again in like 2023, like erosion by way of foot. <laughs> How much of that has been eroded away, you know? It's been what, 50 years or more? Or people just constantly just walking, waiting, standing, shuffling. Just right there in that same spot. Like, that's got to have eroded it some, right? And if so, how much? A quarter of an inch? Half an inch? Uh, how much has the whole park sunk after being built? Uh, I got questions, motherfucker. <laughs> are the trees that are over there by the, the island, are those the ones where they were already that tall and they planted them there? Or were they little saplings? Are there any fish in that fucking thing? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe. They have ducks. Maybe. They got ducks. Do they have to, like, control their population? Do they breed? <laughs> Do they fly away? Did you clip their wings? When? Alright, what time be it? I don't know. I know.
So it's been almost an hour though. So I think I will cut this one off. So I can go cut up some music. Oh fuck. So until likely tomorrow. Late, late, later on and check out the the video of the sunrise.